I'm in my office now about to make things happen my pots are ready and set to go <laughs> so I just wanted to quickly show you how my kitchen looks before I start cooking you guys already know that I love me some clean kitchen my goodness like I can't stand a messy kitchen hello guys welcome back to my <coughs> For those of you that keep coming back to my channel I really appreciate you all and if you're new to this channel I mean why not subscribe if you like what you see already just hit that subscribe button you don't you don't have to pay anything to subscribe I'm telling you trust me okay <laughs> so guys today we are going to be making you know as you can see obviously I'm in my kitchen so we are going to be cooking, we are going to be doing some cooking around this kitchen today and what I'm going to be cooking today is um, I'm going to be frying some stew with some fish it's just only fish, no meat and I'm using only mackerel and also we are going to be boiling some white rice and we are also going to be making some um, beans and plantain porridge guys that plantain I showed you guys in my cook with me a greasy soup video it has finally ripened ripened it has finally ripe please I don't know but we are going to be making some beans and plantain porridge as well my husband loves beans ah he loves beans so so <laughs> I want to also make that for him in case he wants to pair it with the rice or maybe he wants to eat only the beans and plantain he loves it so much so I want to make that for him as well so I also want to carry you guys along with me as you guys already know I enjoy this type of videos and I hope you enjoy watching me too and also learn one or two things from me and as well you can also teach me your own style in the comment section okay we'll continue the discussion there so guys as you can see here my pots are out and set to go <laughs> so I'm going to quickly bring out um, some of the things we are going to be using for today's recipe okay so where do I start from I don't know where to start from fresh tomatoes and for this stew I'm going to be using only fresh tomatoes no tin no bottle fresh tomatoes throughout and I'm also going to be using this um, large bell pepper and I also have two onions here one is big and the other one is a little bit small so all these things here is fresh tomatoes so I'm going to be using only fresh tomatoes so I'm going to wash this, chop them and blend them but before then we are going to start cooking the beans because the beans takes a little bit time to cook so I'm going to start cooking the beans with my pot already washed Parboil the beans, wash it like parboil it for like two to three minutes. Once it starts boiling, I'll 
pour the water away, wash it, rinse it very well, then I'll start cooking it. Okay, so for those of you that keep asking me what type of beans do I use, this is the beans I use. I normally buy it from Italian shop. So I'm going to be using one pack today, only this pack. Let me try and show you more closely. Okay, so this is the name of the beans in case if you are able to find it in your area. This is what it looks like and this is black eye beans. So that's what I'm going to be making. guys while the beans is cooking we are going to wash our our but first I'm going to start boiling the fish so while while it's cooking I will now wash um, the tomatoes and the peppers oh I forgot to bring out scotch bonnet peppers so here is my scotch bonnet I just took it out from the freezer And remember to take out the fish gut. And as usual, I'm going to be cooking and cleaning. So guys this is my fish it's not much but this is what I'm going to be working with I just want to make a very little quantity of stew not too much okay guys so our beans has started boiling so I'm going to rinse it now to pour out that first water because that is what causes bloating after eating beans I always make sure I go through this process I cannot wash it with just cold water and start cooking it I make sure I boil it for like two to three minutes or maximum five minutes then I will rinse it so I'm going to add water and then place it back on fire to cook until it's very soft. If it dries out water and it's not yet cooked, you can add more water, cook it until it's very, very soft before we can now add other ingredients. Don't add anything, no salt, nothing. Just let it cook. Alright, let's go slice our onions. I already have my onions here. I already peeled the back and wash it. So I'm going to be slicing the both of them and add it into this container so I can be taking it whenever I need it. I hope you can see me here. How you like <laughs> any shape of your choice it doesn't have to be perfect
Okay, now I'm going to add some of the onions inside my fish. And then I'll add my fish seasoning. If you don't have this, no problem. You can use um, any seasoning cube or seasoning powder of your choice. Just going to add about that much. And then time. I cannot cook fish without time. It's very, very important. It adds a very nice flavor to the fish. So if you don't use time to cook your fish, start now and then rosemary. Alright, so here is my rosemary. It's very, very important. Like there's this flavor it adds to the uh, fish. Okay, not too much. And then I'm going to add some salt, just about a teaspoon. Finally, I'm going to be adding one more cube. Well, not finally, because we are still going to be adding some water. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to add some water. Okay, about that much. So while those are cooking, while they are cooking, I'm going to wash the tomatoes and the peppers, cut them and add inside my blender. Okay guys, so they cannot all fit in my blender, so I'm going to be blending in batches, like two batches. After blending this one, I'll come back, cut these ones and blend them as well. As you can see, I did not add any water here, but if you think your blender cannot process this without water, you can go ahead and add some water. Because for me, what's the need of adding water when we are going to be frying it so no need adding water here. First bash, done. batch done so I'm all done now as you can see and I used the lowest speed because I don't want it to be very finely blended so guys the bean um sorry the fish is ready I'm going to take off the take it off the heat Yummy, 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 yummy. Who wants to eat? <laughs> and then I'm going to pour the fish stock. I'm going to pour it into this little bowl. And set 
that aside. Now with that same pot, I'm going to be frying the fish. This still needs serious frying, so <laughs> don't come after me and be like fry, fry, fry. I eat fries once in a while, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. You just don't eat it too much. So once the pot gets hot, I'm going to add in my oil. Okay guys, so I'm going to be adding in my um, maize oil. This one will not be enough, so I'll be adding some more oil. Just add as much as you think will be enough to fry your tomatoes because I'm going to be using this same oil that I used to fry the fish to fry my tomatoes. So we are going to allow the oil to get hot before frying the fish. And our beans is still doing good. I opened it halfway because it was boiling over. Okay guys, our oil is ready and it's time to fry the fish. And by the way, I lowered the heat so that it doesn't splash everywhere. Now I'm going to cover this pot and turn the heat to medium so that it can fry. And then I will, you know, from time to time I will come and flip it over so that it doesn't burn. So while the beans and the fish is cooking, we are going to wash the plantains and slice them into desirable sizes. So whenever you are cooking, <clears throat> if there's something on fire, you have to, you know, keep yourself busy. You can be doing some other things while waiting for the one on fire to cook. That is the only way you get done quickly and very faster in the kitchen <laughs> you don't have to sit down and be waiting for the fish for example now that i'm making i'm frying the fish i'll go and sit down and be waiting for it to cook so it's best to use that time to slice these plantains so i'm going to cut them into small pieces So guys, I'm done cutting my plantains. I'm going to set it aside until when I'm ready to use it. So it's time to check on the fish. And before I do that, I always turn down the uh, the, the fire, like the heat. <laughs> hey, English. And then open. So I'm going to cover it again so that the other side can cook or fry and turn back the heat to medium. Meanwhile, the water in the beans has dried up, so I'm going to add more water. Do you know why I'm dancing? Okay. Why I'm dancing is because this stew is going to be so delicious. Do you know why? We are going to be using the stock from the fish 
and we are also going to be using the same oil you used to fry the fish to fry the sauce so can't you see it's going to be so delicious and again we are using fresh tomatoes only no tin tomatoes no can no weird taste it's just going to be fresh tomatoes <laughs> let's check on the fish again for the final time i think it's ready now so i'm going to take it off the heat remember to turn down the heat so oh, please don't burn yourself yeah the fish is ready now I don't want it to be too dry. Yes! This looks so good. Please take one. Oh, you know I'm not stingy. Take one, take one, take one, take one. Now I'm going to add some of the onion. Remember, we are going to be using some of it to cook the beans. Fry for like one minute. Okay, now I'm going to throw in one bay leaf. I already washed it. Add some thyme. Just a tiny bit. Add some curry powder. And one seasoning cube. You guys already know why I'm doing this. This step. If you know, let me know in the comment section. Tell me why do I like to add spices in my oil before frying the tomatoes and peppers. Now let it fry for like 30 seconds before we pour in the tomatoes. Okay, now it's about 30 seconds and I'm going to pour in the blended tomatoes and peppers. Yes! I love this part. <laughs> That part when you hear Z and your neighbor will know that something is happening in your kitchen. I love that part. Okay guys, so we are going to cover this now so that it doesn't splash everywhere. Maybe like leave some opening. Okay? And we are going to allow this to fry completely like for 20 minutes okay guys so I'm going to rinse the blender remember the blender we use to blend the tomatoes I'm also going to rinse this bowl and then I'll keep the the water aside because I'm going to be using it to cook my beans but if you are not cooking beans you can pour it in your stew because we don't want anything to waste okay <laughs> just make sure you rinse it properly and I'm going to keep this here when it's time to use it I'll use it Okay guys, so let's check on our beans. Okay, it's time to add my ingredients. I'm going to be adding some crayfish. I 
and then I'm going to be adding one nut cube. Beans doesn't need too much ingredients, so we are going to be adding as little as possible. Just you know, two in one. And then I'll add some salt, a little bit of salt. Beans doesn't need too much salt as well. Just a tiny bit of salt. And then I'm going to pour in my palm oil. If you want, you can take some salt from the stew and add, but I don't want. <laughs> so I'm going to be adding my palm oil. Add as much as you want. It doesn't need measurements. And then I'm going to pour in my plantain. And add more water. You know, the other time I cooked beans and plantain and somebody was asking me, how did I make it to look soupy? So, basically add like enough quantity of water. That's what is going to make it to look like soup, but not like watery, you know? When it's done, I'm going to show you. Okay and then add our remaining onions. And cover, that's it. Oh yeah guys, I almost forgot. Our rinsed blender. <laughs> I almost forgot, seriously. Hey. So I'm going to add it here. Yes. Don't be afraid of that water. By the time we stir the beans and mix it well, you will not see this water again. Now cover it and let it cook for like 10 more minutes and it's done. But make sure your beans is very soft. Don't say fantastic flavor, told you. Make sure you taste it to be sure it's soft. This too is still cooking. It's boiling nicely. Alright guys, so while I'm still waiting for the stew and the beans to cook, I will go ahead and start boiling my rice. And for my rice, I'm going to be using this rice. This is the one that I want to eat. <laughs> I don't want the normal regular rice. This is um, basmati rice. You got it here. Basmati rice. And this one I bought it from the African shop for like, I think it was sold for 5 euro. Okay guys, so when I'm cooking my white rice, I don't usually measure it. <laughs> I just add it inside the pot. We all already know how to boil rice, <laughs> so there's no need, you know, telling you how to do this. I have a separate video on how to boil white rice. In case if you still want to check it out, you can go and check it out. Okay. I think this too is okay now. Because I don't like it to be like too dry. I think it's okay now. So I'm going to add the fish stock and also add the fish. The fish stock.
Now I'm going to taste it to see if I still need to add more seasoning and salt. Remember we use some seasoning and salt while cooking the fish. So even if I'm going to add it will not be much. I'm going to be adding some paprika for more color. I'm going to be adding some nutmeg as well. Just a tiny bit of nutmeg. Caleb, you have woken up now. Eh? Why did you wake up? You should have stayed when I finish. Now I will be shouting. No, 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 no. Daddy? Mama, Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah. Okay, hold on, I'm coming, okay? okay? So I'm going to cover this pot and allow it to cook for like um, maybe 7 minutes to 10 minutes maximum. Guys, my beans is done. Can you see how liquid it is? So this was how I made that one. Somebody asked me how I made it. This was how I made it. And the once it cools down, it will still, you know, come together, firm up a bit. So that's why I always leave um, enough water in my beans when cooking it. So as you can see now, it's done. You see? <sighs> I'm tired though. Okay guys, this too is done now. So to garnish it, I'm going to be adding some fresh curry leaves. As you can see, and I already washed it. So I'm going to throw it in there. If you want them to be very tiny, you can use a knife to slice them. But that's not important for me. Okay. Stir it and turn off the heat immediately. My goodness, guys, this too smells so delicious. Hey, you need to give it a try. It smells so good. Turn off the heat. Okay guys, these are all three of the food I made today. So, it's time to dish out my food and eat because I'm so hungry guys. I've not eaten since morning and the time now is to three to three and I've not eaten I am in the mama put joint madam put rice and beans so far <laughs> that's where I'm at right now I need some white rice beans and stew with fried fish madam put 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 I'm very hungry Guys, look at this too. Well fried. You see? It was well fried. It wasn't too dry as you guys saw. My goodness. Mama mia. This is so delicious. Guys, look at that. Look who, look who. Chai. Chai, oh. I can't wait to eat this. Guys, here is my food. It's time for the taste test. I know you guys have been waiting for this moment. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. 
Luca. Please go and make this. Go and make it to your husband will love you times 10. Please, I cannot stand up and eat this one. Let me go and sit down, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. My mouth is watering like... <laughs> I feel like I have some saliva coming out of my mouth. So please, let me go and eat this before it runs away. I don't want it to run away. I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Kelly. I say about Pinky. No, no. Hmm. 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 No, but, but eat fast. Come on, huh? Who even told me to take four? Because let me go and take spoon. I don't want me more evil.